Introduction Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where we will dive deep into the working principles of a full wave rectifier. We'll explore the inner workings of this circuit and understand how it effectively converts alternating current, AC, into direct current, DC. To provide a visual representation, we'll be using a simulator that will showcase the input and output waveforms on a scope. So, let's get started. Explanation Let's begin by examining the components of our setup. We have a 5 volt, 40 Hz AC power supply connected as our input. This represents the typical alternating current that we aim to rectify. To simulate a practical scenario, we've added a 100 ohm resistor as a load, which represents an electronic device drawing power from the rectifier. Now, let's take a closer look at the bridge rectifier circuit. It consists of four diodes D1, D2, D3, and D4 arranged in a specific configuration known as a bridge. This arrangement allows us to rectify both the positive and negative half cycles of the AC input. When the AC input voltage is positive with respect to the ground, diodes D1 and D3 become forward biased and conduct current. This enables the current to flow through the load resistor in one direction, delivering power to the load. At the same time, diodes D2 and D4 are reverse biased, preventing any current from flowing through them. Conversely, when the AC input voltage becomes negative, diodes D2 and D4 become forward biased, allowing current to flow through them. Now, the current flows through the load resistor in the opposite direction, again delivering power to the load. Simultaneously, diodes D1 and D3 become reverse biased, effectively blocking any current through them. As a result of this arrangement, what we observe at the output is a rectified waveform. The negative half cycles of the AC input are inverted to positive half cycles at the output, providing us with a smoother DC waveform. The diodes essentially act as one way valves, allowing current to flow in one direction while blocking it in the reverse direction. This rectified waveform is now suitable for powering devices that require direct current, such as electronic circuits, appliances, or electronic gadgets. Observing the waveforms Now, let's carefully observe the waveforms displayed on the scope. The top trace on the scope represents the input voltage from the AC power supply, while the bottom trace represents the output voltage across the load resistor. By comparing the two, we can clearly see the conversion from AC to DC as the output waveform exhibits a continuous positive voltage. However, it's important to note that the output voltage of a full wave rectifier is not a perfectly smooth DC voltage. It still contains some ripples or variations. This is due to the fact that the rectification process is not completely ideal. To further smoothen the output and reduce these ripples, additional circuitry like capacitors can be employed. In addition to the voltage waveform, we can also observe the current waveform on the scope. During the positive half cycles of the input, the current flows through the load resistor in one direction. As the input voltage becomes negative, the current reverses its direction and flows through the load resistor in the opposite direction. This bidirectional flow of current is a characteristic of a full wave rectifier. Conclusion and there you have it, the detailed inner workings of a full wave rectifier. We've explored how it converts alternating current into a smoother direct current using a bridge rectifier circuit and four diodes. By rectifying the AC input, we obtain a more constant and usable voltage for various electronic devices. This process is crucial in powering electronic circuits and devices that rely on a steady DC power source. Throughout this video, we have witnessed the functioning of the full wave rectifier through our simulator. By visualizing the input and output waveforms on the scope, we have seen the transformation of the AC input into a rectified DC output. The bridge rectifier circuit, consisting of diodes D1, D2, D3, and D4, plays a pivotal role in allowing current to flow in one direction while blocking it in the reverse direction. It is important to note that while the output waveform is rectified, it may still contain small ripples or variations. These ripples arise due to imperfections in the rectification process and the inherent characteristics of the components involved. 
However, these ripples can be further minimized by utilizing additional circuit elements, such as capacitors, to smoothen the output voltage. By understanding the working principles of a full wave rectifier, we gain insights into the conversion of AC to DC and its significance in various electronic applications. The rectified output provides a steady and usable DC voltage that can power a wide range of electronic devices, from simple circuits to complex appliances. Thank you for joining me in this exploration of how a full wave rectifier works. I hope you found this video informative and that it deepened your understanding of rectification processes. If you have any further questions or would like to explore related topics, please feel free to let me know.